he's not as good a goodie as Stefan, but he still has like some redeemable qualities. Oh my gosh, stop. Someone keeps on mowing their lawn. They do it like every day. Like seriously, people are mowing their lawn every day here. What is wrong? Why hello! So, for this video, it's going to be a really exciting video for me because today in this video, not today, well it is today actually, and it's in this video, I don't know why I'm going on this tangent. Can you hear me when I whisper? Maybe you, it's, maybe it's better that you don't. Okay, so, it's really exciting, this video is going to be my first ever tag video and it is about something that I really love, which is the Vampire Diaries, as you can see from the title. Um, and I'm wearing red, wearing red. You know, because it's blood color and vampires, there's lots and lots and lots of blood. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna read from this book the questions. Um, and it's red as well. Um, anyway, so that's really weird that I just explained to you that things are red. Okay, let's get into this video. Oh, first of all, this video is from Ingrid and Joey, who both have channels on YouTube. Um, Ingrid is a beauty guru, and Joey is a, I don't know what he is, he's an entertainer person. He entertains people. He's really good. You should look at both of their channels. Um, I will put the video that they did on both of their channels um, in the bottom of below of the Vampire, Vampire Diaries tag. Anyway, they made the video and I'm going to do that video now. Um, so basically how I'm going to do it is this first video, part one, is going to be the first five questions of the tag. Then the second video is going to be the next five questions of the tag. And then possibly I will do a third video or I will just put it at the end of the second video um, because like one of the main reasons that I found this tag and one of the main reasons that I want to do this tag is because I want to talk to you about season three finale. I was so 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 like blown away and so uh, I just I really want to talk to you about it and I know that I'm going to talk a lot so I might do it and do like you know a whole video by itself um, but I don't know. I might end, like put it at the end of the second video. And I'm doing it like in these separate videos because I know that I'm going to talk such a lot. Such a lot. I know I'm going to talk a lot as I am doing now. But hopefully in the next video I will not, um, like, give such a long introduction. Okay, so the first question is, how did you discover the show? I discovered the show by reading the books. Um, I read the books and the book series actually, which is called The Vampire Diaries, as the show is called, and it's written by L.J. Smith. Um, and also, I said all of this before, I think, in my favorite TV shows video, um, where I also said that The Vampire Diaries is my favorite show, because it is. Um, so I will link that video in the bottom bar below. But anyway, I read my, I read my, I read the book series, and I really liked it, and yeah, I really liked it except for the last two books, and I will explain this more, like in um, I think like one of the later questions in like the next part two of the video, which is about the book. It's a question about the book. Anyway, so yeah, I found out about the series because I read the books, and I really liked the books, and then I found out that there was gonna be a series, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna watch it, and that's why I watched it, and that's why I found it. So yeah, um, the next question is. If you were, oh sorry, next question is not that. The next question is, who's your favorite character? Um, my favorite character, this is an easy question, my favorite character is Damon. Um, my favorite character is Damon because he's funny, he's interesting, he's, you know, he has this dark side and I really like that. Um, but it's not like, like Stefan's dark side is just really, really dark and really intense and he's just, he's upset at his dark side, do you know what I mean? Like he's not happy about the fact that he does bad things sometimes, and Damon, you know, is okay with that, and I think that's good. I don't really think that's good, um, but it, it makes for an, an interesting character. Um, he really, you know, I think that Damon really spices up the show, makes it different and interesting, and yeah, so I really like him, and I also really like Catherine. I wish she would come back. Um, Catherine is really, Catherine, I feel like, you know, is how Elena should be a little bit of the time. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I feel like Elena just needs to be a little bit, a little bit more, I don't know, bad. Just a little bit of the time. I feel like she's always this responsible person, but she's 18. She's not supposed to be responsible. So 
Yeah, I really like Catherine. Those are my two favorite characters. The next question is, if you were a vampire, would you live with human blood or animal blood? Um, I would live with human blood. I wouldn't kill people, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Um, I don't think I would drink animal blood. I don't know why I would, wouldn't would drink animal blood. Uh, I just don't think it would be... I, I don't think it would taste as good, I suppose. Um, yeah, I just think I would drink human blood. I drink, like, the, in those blood bank bag things that people have and then I think it's like cypher blood I think that's what it's called where you just like drink blood from people but you don't kill them uh hopefully I didn't have enough control to do that but yeah I would definitely drink human blood um the next question is team Stefano Damon I don't really like this question because I don't like I know that everyone okay I don't like choosing teams like with Twilight with the whole um what are their names I can't remember, Edward and Jacob, Team Edward and Jacob, and also with the Hunger Games, um, Team Peter and Team... Team Peter and Team... Wow. I can't think of it for the life of me. Team Peter and Team... Okay. It's probably because I like Peter better, but there's... What, what is his name? Damn it. Okay. I will put his name right here in like a little box thing because I can't think of his name. But anyway, that's not important. Um, I don't like choosing a person. Obviously there's like normally a person that I like better. Like for instance, I like Edward better than Jacob. Um, I like Peter better than the other person whose name I can't remember. And I like Damon better than Stefan. But I don't really want to like be on a team. I like people, you know, at different stages. There was a point in the Vampire Diaries where I didn't like Damon that much and I liked Stefan. And I really don't, like, they're both good, do you know what I mean? Like, they're both really good, and I think the whole team thing is supposed to be about who's best for the girl in all of the three things that I mentioned, um, and I don't really think that the team that I'm in reflects who she should be with, do you know? Because, like, I don't, I, I'm not even sure anymore if... Elena should be with Damon or with Stefan. I don't, like, first of all, I don't know if she even deserves Damon. <laughs> Maybe she does, I don't know. Um, because sometimes I get really annoyed at Elena, we'll get to that. Um, but yeah, I don't know if, I don't really know. I think, I, I mean, obviously I like Damon better and I want him to get her because he wants her, but also some, maybe it's because he's just, you know, the underdog kind of. I don't know. So I don't really want to choose a team, but if I was forced to, you know, if you like, put a gun to my head, I would choose Team Damon. Um, the next question and the last question for this video is what's your favorite supernatural power um this question is a little bit vague i don't know if i'm supposed to answer for the vampire diaries or in general um supernatural power that i would like to have though just in general is i would like to be able to fly i think that lots of people would like to be able to fly i don't really want like a superpower that would like like um give me the ability to be evil do you know like controlling people's minds or whatever stuff like that or listening to people's minds like Edward does um Twilight references okay um yeah I want a power that would just be fun and amazing but not a power that would you know allow me to be evil because knowing me I would probably go to the dark side wow I'm making lots of references in this video the dark side seriously okay yeah I would want to be able to fly in general but in the Vampire Diaries the superpower that I, I would I'd want it to be a witch. But if I was a witch, I'd probably use it, you know, to do bad things. Yeah, I definitely would. Okay, yeah, so but I'd want to be a witch. And so, yeah, that is the superpower that I want to have. And this is part one of this video. If you want to see the next five questions and also the, you know, the season three finale, just crazy rant, then click on my face right now and you will be linked to that video thank you for watching this video and i will hopefully see you in the next video but if you don't want to watch it then i will see you next time